Hi friends, I am Alex Chakosi, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department with the Academy of Science and Technology. Today we are discussing something about the revised Bloom's Taxonomy. I think you may be familiar with this particular Bloom's Taxonomy and revised Bloom's Taxonomy. I just have three PDF files open here. One is this revised Bloom's taxonomy and writing learning outcomes using Bloom's revised taxonomy and and the Advanced Academy of Quality in Business Education Worldwide. This IACB is one PDF file. And this file is downloaded from the IIT Madras Learning Center. And here they are saying something about the Bloom's revised taxonomy. The basic thing is these terms, evaluation, synthesis, analysis, application, comprehension, knowledge. They were the previous terms used for Bloom's taxonomy and they are nouns. And now they are used as verbs. You can see this. Remember, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating and creating. Using these terms for a flipped classroom, we have to make some learning objectives. You know what is learning objective. If you don't know, you can go through these three PDF files and you can get the idea. The PDF files I have been sent to you, you can download it from your emails. In this, the first Bloom's tax.pdf, you can see one level 1, level 2, level 3 tables. And in that, you can see some uh, categories, alternative names, and definition. The second file, learning outcome, writing learning outcome. In this PDF, you will be getting some action verbs. You can see action verbs here, action verbs for each level. For remember, you have to use these action verbs for writing learning outcomes or learning objectives. The learning objectives should be specific. That means it should be measurable. Simply, we cannot write after this particular topic. The student will be able to remember what we have taught. We cannot write a learning objective like that. We should be use the action verbs like choose, define, find, how, label, list, match, name. Because all these action verbs are measurable. So when we are writing a learning objective, we should think about this particular thing. Is it measurable or not? Here also we can get some idea uh, in the 8. Uh, ninth slide in the ninth page you can see some examples student will be able to identify the principal concepts and theories in the functional areas of business in this example we begin with the suggestion phrase student will be able to this will help you to make your own learning objectives on your topic the selected uh, the topic selected by you so using this video I think you can use that three files which I have sent to you and get an idea about how to write the learning objective about a particular topic. Use this video and use your use the three files. Use those three files and make your own learning objective. The first thing for a flipped classroom you have to do is for a particular topic you have to make a learning objective this video will help you for that thank you